Now let's talk about the Apple Watch and how to make sure that your Apple Watch weather complications are working properly. Because for example, I have my complication in here and if you feel like they don't work the way they, they should or something is wrong, then there are possible fixes for it. So the basic ones are ju just to restart the Apple Watch. So hold down on it and like restart it again and stuff. So that's really basic. But once that is out of the way, make sure to swipe up on the uh, watch face and check out these little toggles. So you can see iPhone is connected and accessibility work and other stuff. But what we are interested in is seeing whether you have access to the uh, location and to your iPhone or some internet source. If you have a cellular Apple Watch, you can just check out whether you can see that you are connected to cellular data or if you are connected to Wi-Fi if you're far away from the iPhone. Either way, you're going to need to have some sort of access to the internet for the watch complications for the weather to show up properly with up-to-date information. So just play around with that and decide what is the current or the best option for you. Even though the Apple Watch may have access to the internet, the watch weather app may not. So on the iPhone that is paired to that Apple Watch, make sure to go to the watch face. So you can see, I mean, the watch app. So here is the watch application and you're going to have to scroll down and find the weather. So you can see weather is right here and here are a couple of different things. So you can choose the default city. That's the thing. This could also prevent you from accessing the correct information. Because for example, here, if you click on default city, you can choose what's gonna show up on the Apple Watch complication. So for example, you can see here, it says four degrees on my Apple Watch. That's because I chose a Vienna. However, if I change it to something completely different, like Cupertino, you can see that it just updates. It doesn't show anything. And now it has six degrees. So much different stuff. Again, London, you can see five degrees. So it really depends on which kind of information you want to see in here. So this may be a problem as well. If the complication doesn't show the correct info, perhaps the default city is something else and you're seeing the weather in completely different location. But anyways, here on the iPhone, go to the iPhone settings, click on the cellular, and here are all of the apps which have access to it. So if your iPhone is perhaps not connected to Wi-Fi, the uh, weather may have some struggles and problems to get to the internet when you're only using the uh, cellular data. So make sure to find uh, the weather app right here and you're going to be able to see it if you have it turned on. I mean, it's not ordered alphabetically or anything, but I have it turned on for most of the apps. So I'll try to see if you don't have it turned off for some of them so you can see clock and stuff. So yeah, that's the thing to find it somewhere in here or just come back and find the weather in here. So cellular data is also available. And that's the important stuff. So even if your iPhone isn't connected to Wi-Fi, it can still have access to the cellular data. You also need to make sure that the location is enabled. So while using it has access to the location. Because as we chose, for example, you can see if we come back to the watch app and come back to the weather section. So let's come back to the weather. And if we choose the default city to be current location, but the weather app doesn't have access to the location, then some problems may appear as well. And therefore you may end up with incorrect information on your Apple Watch complication. So definitely try all of those things out. And of course, you should always keep the iPhone and Apple Watch up to date. So also make sure that you run the latest version of the iOS and watchOS at the, the same time. So you can see 16.3, it should be installed. And if I check out the Apple Watch app, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a new update regarding that as well. So you can find it in either on the Apple Watch or in the general and software update. For me, I believe, yeah, it is up to date. So make sure to do that and hope the video helped you out for more content like this. Make sure to check out this video right here and also subscribe to Fox Tech. Thanks a lot and see you guys in the future.